Come already, didn't I? Yeah, I guess a month without some videos is kind of kind of hit y'all in the mental, isn't it? Well, anyway, I kind of owe y'all some videos because a month without content is quite some time. So, I gotta give you a treat. A uh, good old good and bad. But, because of popular opinion, I'm gonna make a carno. The meat eating bull. El Toro Maleado. Let's get right into it, shall we? Okay, so I'm gonna make this quick. Acro has been moved in the tier list from meh tier to the very bottom of good tier. This because of it gaining an elder growth stage, having literally no weaknesses, and finally, making it able to kill a Pakiraino. But we're still talking about Acro players, so... Uh, yeah. And after Rise and Fall 2.0, it will lose to its Elder. Congrats, Acro. The first ever promotion in the good or bad lore. <coughs> Carno Taurus was a large Savelli sword from South America. More specifically, Argentina, boludo. Para todos mis compadres argentinos. It lived in the Cretaceous from 72 to 69 million years ago in, well, South America. It's probably the most recognizable Abelli sword because of its very different appearance when compared to others of its family. You see, Abelisaurus are normally these elongated, bulky predators with short legs, basically killing such sausages or the taxons of the Cretaceous. But Carno was this lean, long-legged, fast hunter, with also being the only carnivore with horns that we know of. Horns from which it receives its name, Meat Eating Bull. Believed to be the fastest large carnivore by an enlarged muscle in steel called the Caudofemoralis, which gives them an extremely strong leg movement at the cost of tail mobility, meaning it can't really make sharp turns. Extremely famous after the year 2000 by a certain underrated Disney movie, and the numbers of appearances in movies and documentaries, it's pretty big. Like the Jurassic World franchise, bizarre dinosaurs, and prehistoric planet. This is my favorite dinosaur ever because of its weird and imposing appearance. The fact that we only have one single specimen, but it's a pretty complete one. After all, we have its skull, its torso, its little arms, parts of its tail and long legs, and we even have skin impressions that show us osteoderms in a very scaly skin. This has made Carno an extremely amazing creature and my favorite dinosaur of all time. Now, let's see how the in-game version fares. Prior Extinctions Carnotaurus Known as the bane of every low tier and baby in the game. The second fastest in the entire game, while being beefy. Its proportions are, ex are the expected, having a weight of 2400 kilos, these mean horns and the small osteoderms arranged randomly throughout the skin. Also, as I said before, it's the second fastest in the game at 59 km per hour, just behind Gali and over Gigantoraptor. Funnily enough, Carno running without the sprint button is still as fast enough to outrun every single sprinting carnivore besides Pista just by a tiny amount. Though its agility is very low, 
not been very good at the whole turning thing. In terms of visuals and sound design, recently, well, recently, it got a new set of animations, making it feel less stiff. But in sound... Man, is he all the world, man. Carno is one of those dinos you can't really distinguish from a distance just by sound. You can only know what it is until you see it, which is sad. A fierce roar will complement its bully playstyle, but it is what it is. It's also very affordable at 27,000 amber, and being fast at all its growth stages makes it a nice mid-game dino, but a really tough one to get the ropes off because of something I'll mention later. It is meant to be the perfect small game hunter, and it is. I have never seen these amounts of unfair interactions, ever. Anything up to the size of a dilo is dead if a Carno wants to. Fun fact, Carno is mentioned in 5, well, 4 we will talk about it later, other dinos wiki as being a danger and to either hide or beg for the love of God and Satan's tail that the Carno gets bored of haunting them. Three of them being Dilo, Concave and Austro, weirdly enough. Its stats show quite the combatant, having similar damage to Serato but being a fantastic bone breaker, which means you will break your brace head and or neck SPECIFICALLY causing blurring vision and residual damage from running. Sadly, there are just two types of fracture in the game being this head and neck fracture. I hope that in the future the devs add other types of fractures like leg or tail fracture that lower your speed a lot and decreases your turning radius respectively. And also let you break other things in the body besides the neck, like I don't know the spine, the ribs, the arms. But yeah, I guess just breaking the goddamn dewlap of a dino, it's good, I guess. It's ridiculous how outmatched these dinos are in that situation. If a Carno sees any small tear or baby up to the size of Juvies or even Soba dolls for some mid tears, they have only two options. One, pray that the Carno is friendly. Or two, try and hide in a small hole or water because unless you're protected by a pseudo apex or apex adult or a big pack, that carno will get you and kill you and you won't be able to do anything about it. Also you can't really out juke it because by the time you do a sharp turn and run to the other direction, the carno is back over your head. This is what made carno such a hated creature because it can kill and break the majority of smaller tiers, and you can't really punish it because of its speed and ability to go to every single bio. So you're truly safe at all times as Carno, and this gives Carno players the stigma of being cowards. However, there is a reason for the cowardry. Carno's biggest issue is it's your best. Let's be real, the majority of Carno players will agree with this. The only way you die as Carno is because you made a very obvious mistake like sitting in the middle of a fight with an aloe or picking a fight with something no way you can win. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let, let's be real right now. Let, that's a problem for everyone, but... Yeah. Okay, okay. Anyways, the real big issue of Carno can be found in its PvP stats. It's not its damage. It's not its HP, it's, it's its resistances, there are none. This means it receives the full damage from all sources and it has one single weakness, to bleed, all forms of bleed. This is what kills most of what could be easy praise for Karno and turns them into un basically unwinnable matchups. You, should, you see a Diablo Ceratops alone, it should be a good kill but oh no, 
it does a big chunk of damage and in Sam 2 type is bleed. An Ichthyovenator in the middle of Craglands because it's a Madland? Nope, it does bleed. A Crentro? I mean, you can, but one hit is almost enough to take half your health. And baby, even though you can kill a baby, it's better to be sneaky about it. Basically to ambush it while it's, I don't know, cleaning or eating or doing something. Also, the fact that it receives neutral damage from everything makes Karno way squishier than it should. That is the reason Karno players are usually quote-unquote cowards. Because, as Pesky says, everyone hates Karno. There are also other issues like it being diurnal, which means you're kind of incapacitated for a third of the game. Also, your acceleration is bad, but trotting mitigates the effects a tiny bit. However, this doesn't mean that Karno is relegated to just bullying small tiers. For losing matchups, basically every single mid tier and above the does bleed as its main source of damage. So, all Serat options except Proto and Pachyrhino, Allo, Spinosaurids, Teresino, Baby, Tero, Acro, basically nothing unexpected. However, talking about winnable matchups is weird. Because, as discussed previously, everything to the size of some Teen Sudo Apexes can be killed by our two-ton bull. But there are some matchups that are surprising. Okay, I have to say that this can be, these are better tackled by ambushing, but at this point it's not even a surprise. Every single carnivore in the game needs ambush to at least try and kill something. But Carno is better to, at this because of its speed. I wanted to talk about the Gigant vs Karno matchup first because it was the most surprising about the community. I mean, we all remember before Rise and Fall 1 when they showed us that images of Gigant Raptor against two Karnos. We were all like, they kill me? No one ever thought Karno could kill that thing alone, let alone in pairs. But then, after the overpopulation due to hype stopped, Karnos started soloing Gigants. And don't get me wrong, Gigantoraptor is not a weak playable, not at all. But Karno can really destroy it solo. But this is very different from what you would expect. Fighting Gigants as Karno is tricky, because that bird is beefy, has a secondary attack that does bleed, has the intimidation ability that actually helps, and has a powerful kick that breaks bones. But your mere presence is enough to change Gigant's entire playstyle. Let me explain. Usually, Gigant is meant to kick, slap, and chase, or kick the neck, back off, and intimidate. The residual damage will help a lot. This is because the only carnivore that gets close to Gigant in speed is Vista. Well, large carnivore. But even then, Gigant can escape Vista easily by just running. And that's its best tool, its speed. But Karno doesn't get close to Gigant in speed. It surpasses it. And not only in speed, it also surpasses Gigant in turn radius and stamina. Which means Gigant can't escape and is forced to stand its ground. You are, as a Gigant, whenever a Karno wants to fight, you are forced to either fight or die. There is no running away. A Karno's mere presence absolutely takes out Gigant's strongest tool. And, by experience, I can tell you all the fighting Gigants with actual brain cells is one of, is not, of the most entertaining feeling in the game. Because you have to know how to juke attacks, halt your speed, crouch turn, and check on your stamina and health. Because both of you will have neck fractures, so residual damage is a problem to you, not the Gigant. Because 
to basically change Gigan's playstyle from this pseudo carno to more similar to paras but a way squisher para also carno's attacks are strong against Gigan, making it perfect for killing it and against two of them the odds are for a carno Sintao really can't escape Karno. However, you can only kill an adult when it's alone or even when there's two of them. More of them and that's it, you can't. Hear me out. Yang is surprisingly a viable target for Karno to kill, even though it's almost twice its size and those almost twice the damage. By the way, if you want to see the real cowards of P, 1v1 a young Ascarno, you will see desperation in its finest. That that young player usually they try to be this I am better than you type of player. But that not only that makes them easier play, prey than they should and once you transform its head and neck into mush, you'll see them try to friendly roar, mix back with other herbivores to protect, beg for mercy in the chat while you just stand there laughing at someone. How do you get Yang and I'm that bad of a player? Man, and don't get me wrong again, a competent Yang can kill a Karno easily. But you have to also take care of Yang because you are weak to Karno's attack. And if hunted by two competent Karnos, uh, the ties of the battle may turn really quick. However, in a 2v2, Yang is pretty much safe. So, in conclusion, Karno is a fun and relatively strong dino, as well as having a different playstyle from other carnivores. The skill floor is relatively low which makes it good for new players, but punishable enough to make it not overpowered. Uh, but the skill ceiling is also high, because you need to know what you can kill, and you are the best skill checker in the game, because that's the only way you can know how a bad a player is. If, if a pseudo apex dies to a carnal man, that is natural selection at its finest. So, it's in my humble opinion, and not biased, even though I main Carno, that it will go in the good tier. Fast, strong, versatile, and all times to die is your fault. So, I think it's good. But tell me. Do you think my placement of Carno is accurate enough? If not, where would you put it? Leave it in the comments below, I read all of them. Anyway, thanks for watching, have a good one and... Uh... Feliz Año Nuevo!